and welcome to a new video. My name is Anna, if you're new here, hello. Uh, this is my booktube. I also have a bookstagram and I also post on TikTok from time to time. If you're new here, please subscribe, leave a comment uh, for any book videos you'd like to see and leave a thumbs up for this video, please. Uh, I'd greatly appreciate it. All that aside, um, I'm doing the mid-year freak out tag for the first time. I don't really know how to film this, but we're giving it a go. I am quite aware that it's already been six months and this video usually comes out in June, um, but I'm filming it now, so I hope you still enjoy it either way. Uh, okay, and I found the questions online, so <laughs> that's what I'm referring to. Okay, also I have my bullet journal, which I use to keep track of things like books that I've read and I need that now for my books that I've read so far this year. I've read nearly 30 books, which is half of my goal. What is the best book you have read so far in 2022? Oh, uh, that is such a difficult question because I don't know. I've, e I've even created this thing, uh, which is a favorite book of 2022. And I basically put in here the most favorite book that I've read. And this is such a difficult one. I'm, I've tried to like figure out my favorite book each month. So I guess if I could say my most favorite one so far, uh, I really enjoyed Truly Devious. And I think that is definitely going to be one of my most favorite books I've read. Uh, and I do want to read the whole series. Uh, but I also enjoyed In the Wild Light, which I recently read. I think that book is so underrated. It is so beautiful. I definitely recommend that one. Those ones. Although I guess that was like one type of genre. My most favorite mystery thriller would be Verity. Feels like how I kind of mentioned three books. What is the best sequel you have read so far? I don't think I have read any sequels actually, so I do want to. I want to finish reading the the Summer Time Pretty Triology, rereading it because I read it like six years ago, uh, and I do want to read uh, the sequel to, or well, not the sequel. It's not a sequel, but um, Love and olives i want to read that one uh what is a new release that you haven't read yet but want to uh oh that is a difficult one i have to look at my goodreads for that one i'd say the house across the lake because i want to read that one this summer and i've got it open up on my laptop and it came out in june june 21st so yeah i think that's the most recent one i would like to read although i do try to stay on top of like the books that are recently like the recent releases um, on Instagram. I think every Tuesday uh, there's a list of like new books coming out that day. So I do try to like stay on top of that so I don't fall behind and in case there's a book that I really want to read. So what is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year? Looking at the Goodreads like most anticipated books of the summer, I would say Daisy Darker at as that is coming out August 30th. Uh, that one looks very interesting and I'm definitely gonna read that one sometime. Apart from that, I don't know. Like I do try to stay on top of the books coming out. So I guess that's my answer of that book. But I did recently look at the books coming out in the autumn and in the winter and I did add some of them to my TBR. So they're somewhere, if I find them, I will put a picture of them on the screen so you can see. What was your biggest disappointing book so far? There was one or two maybe that I read that I thought would be good and it wasn't good. One of them was Bad Luck Bridesmaid because I did see that one going around and I thought, oh, it looks interesting, but it was completely about something else. like. It was about something else completely that I didn't think it would be. I think it would be a cute romance novel, but it wasn't. Buy the book. Uh, I thought this one would be so good and I gave it 2.5. And another one I think would be Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I gave it 3.5 because it was good. I just, it, it just wasn't good at all times. So, but that one wasn't like a big disappointment. Uh, what was your biggest surprising book so far? Uh, I kind of mentioned this one already. In the Wild Light. That one was so good. I didn't think I would enjoy it. It's a YA book, but it's so good. It's so cute. It's so sweet. I loved it entirely. And I will forever recommend it to everyone. So if you haven't read it, I recommend you check it out. Uh, but another one was Not My Problem. Uh, again, I did see this one going around on Bookstagram. Uh, okay, and just one more. It would be Love at First Fight. Amazing. The best, just 10 out of 10. It just, it just was surprising. There was quite a few, but. Who is your favorite new author? Hmm, that is difficult because I don't know. I don't really, I think I've just read one book by each author. That rarely happens that I do read other books by the author, but maybe the author of the, of the book in the world light. Who is your new fictional crush? I don't know. I don't think I have anyone. Although I did like, again, in the world light, that book is told by the male's point of view. 
uh, which I don't think that happens quite often and I really liked that character. Who is your newest favourite character? That's also a difficult question because uh, I feel like I have a favourite character if like I knew I can relate to the character if that makes sense. So I did like the character, the main character in the book Truly Devious as well as They'll Never Catch Us. That was also a great book I read and I liked the main two characters in there and I guess the main character in The Wild Light. So those kind of characters will be my favourite. Uh, what books made you cry? There hasn't been any because I don't think I've read any like sad books recently. I, re I remember reading a book on the bus and getting teary eyed. I think it was in the wild light. There was a sad scene there and it broke my heart. Yep, okay, in the wild light then. Uh, what is one book that made you happy? I don't know. Hmm, good question. The Sunlight and Pretty. That is a happy book. Truly Devious maybe as well because I, I really like that one. Uh, and The Flat Share. That one was so cute. That one, yeah, The Flat Share. That, was, that is like a happy cute book as well. What is the most beautiful book you have bought or received so far this year? Easy, it's next to me, it's this one. Uh, I haven't read this one yet, I haven't read that many classic. And I think that's what it means, most beautiful book. Does it mean the cover? I I'm taking it as a cover. Uh, what books do you need to read by the end of the year? Well, I'm on book 29 now, 30, I'm on book 30 now, so I I've got 30 more to read. Uh, I've given myself an ambitious goal of reading 15 books this summer. I know when uni starts up in October I'm not gonna have much time. The summer's the time where I read the most or like like if I have any holidays and stuff like that. I've created a summer TBR which I've I filmed. I don't know if it's up already. Some of those books uh, are on that list and if not then I don't know I don't really create like a TBR of books I need to read because I, I, I then feel pressured and then I don't read those books but I did create this page in my journal. Top yearly t TBR, which is basically books I really, really, really want to read. Quite ambitious because I'm not gonna fill that all up, am I? Uh, and one of them was Verity and Truly Devious, which I've already read. I still have lots of space here to fill, so I probably will update that sometime. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was quite fun to film. Let me know if you have any other like similar tags you would like to see from me. Subscribe, leave a comment, a thumbs up, all that stuff. And yes, Thank you for watching my videos, for supporting my channel, and I hope to see you in...